regretting taking two AP classes. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan and today I'm doing a weekend vlog. Currently Saturday, September 7th and it's 8.15 right now. My brother is actually back. He's been away this whole summer with his friends he was staying somewhere so he's finally home so now i need to be a little more careful when i film i have to be a little quieter unfortunately i'm gonna do my best to film as much as i can today but i'm gonna go make breakfast right now i'm pretty hungry i will talk to you guys while i do that even though we only had four days of school this week i've never needed the weekend more like i cannot tell you how happy i was when i woke up and realized it was Saturday because at first when I woke up I thought I had to go to school and I was like I can't and then I realized it was Saturday oh my god I was so happy I don't know why but like this week felt so long and it was only four days like I don't know and it was just so stressful this whole week but I already have so many assignments like so much homework I'm regretting taking two AP classes but those are the only classes I have those and then one dual enrollment so i have like three classes like it shouldn't be this bad but for some reason i am just so stressed just ordered my friend her part of her birthday gift because her birthday is literally next friday and i need them to come in time so i ordered her a jelly cat i'll insert a picture i got the bunny one because We've both like talked about jelly cats so much and it was so hard to pick which one to get her. But I just went with that one to be safe because I know she really likes it and thinks it's really cute. And I feel like a lot of people have that and I think it's adorable. So I got her that. I ordered her a book. I got her Divine Rivals. It's one of my favorite books. So hopefully she likes it. And then that's everything I've ordered so far. But I need to get her still like two other things. I'm hoping to go this weekend to Trader Joe's actually because... I need to get her something there and also they brought out their fall stuff i'm pretty sure i want to go so bad and then i also want to get her like a sweatshirt or like a sweater or a long sleeve shirt or something from brandy malmo because they just opened one near me they literally opened one near the trader joe's that i go to like it's amazing so hopefully we can go to that shopping center and I can get her those final gift things and hopefully get some Trader Joe's fall item. I really just want the butternut squash mac and cheese because I tried that last year and it was so good. And I've never really had any of their other fall stuff, but like maybe I'd try something. I'm really excited though to put her gift together because I'm gonna do a little basket and like put all the little gifts. I think it's gonna be really cute. Let's make some food. Also forgot to mention, I also ordered myself something I because I needed to get free shipping. And I didn't order the book at first because I didn't realize I was going to get it. So I just ordered the Jelly Cat and then I was like, oh, what should I get to get free shipping? And then I realized that last night I used up the last bit of my birthday cake flavored oat Haas granola butter, which is like my favorite flavor ever. So I ordered some more of that. And then I purchased the book in a separate order because when you order off Amazon, they give you like free shipping for the rest of the day. So I was like, actually, I'll just add a book because I wasn't really going to get her that. Well, I was but I forgot so even though it is the weekend and I'm very happy about that I still do honestly have a lot of score to get done it'll be fine at least actually I'm really glad honestly mainly that I don't have to do tennis because I just need like a break from that because it's been like so stressful and I just feel like I'm doing so bad but yesterday I had a match I lost it was 3-6-1-6 so like at least I got some points so many people on my team won and then I was just kind of like upset because I was like I totally could have done better but I guess not really because I don't know whatever like don't get me wrong I love tennis I love it I just need a little break because we have it every single day so it's like I just need a weekend off of that bon appetit
Oh my gosh, it is literally cold out right now. Like it's literally giving fall vibe. I'm so here for it. It just got like all stormy and cold. Like I don't even know. It's very windy. So I'm cuddled up in a blanket. I'm gonna read. I really wanna like finish this book. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I have like 70 pages. We'll see about that. But I'm gonna read. And I've just been doing some like editing and stuff, some homework stuff. It's like I think it's 3 o'clock though. My mom will be home in about an hour. I don't know what we're doing today. It's so windy, oh my gosh. Guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am to go to Trader Joe's tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is currently 7.15, Sunday now. I'm working with my mom, as we all know. If you watch my videos, you already know. I now work Sundays from 10 to 2 at my mom's work. It's really not bad at all. It's just like, it kind of gets boring sometimes, but like, it's fine. But after work today, I'm so excited. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's and shopping for my friend and everything. Like I told you guys, so excited for Trader Joe's fall items. I'm so excited. I've never really gotten any of their fall stuff other than the butternut squash mac and cheese. But I'm like really curious to try some new stuff this year. I really want to make some sort of pumpkin like loaf or muffins or just pumpkin bread like type thing. I think they have like a pumpkin bread mix so I really want to get that. I just want to see what other stuff they have. I'm so excited. I'm not, I don't know, like I haven't really tried many like pumpkin things. Like I don't know if I'm really a pumpkin person but we'll find out I guess. I've been like looking online must have fall items and stuff and i have a couple things in mind but for the most part i'm kind of just gonna go and like see what i see i also just love trader joe's like food other foods in general so i'm very excited and i'm so excited to go to brandy i've never been to this new location i'm gonna read for a little i think i finished my other book yesterday a thousand splendid suns and it was really good, I gave it a four stars. Also, I literally need to film a book video. I haven't filmed one for July or August. I mean, August just ended, but I never filmed one for July. So I'm thinking about just like combining the two into one big video. Hopefully I can try to film that soon. <laughs> and now that my brother's back, it's like, I don't even know when I'm gonna be able to film it, but I'm really gonna try to. But I finished that book and I just started this book last night called The X Talk. I have to like cover the bottom part because it literally has the name of my library. Like they put a sticker right on the front of the book with the name of the library. So I don't know why they did that. But The X Talk, it's by Rachel Lynn Solomon. There's her name. I'm only on page like 10. Like, I don't know, I'm on page 25. I already feel like it's gonna be good. Like I'm kind of already liking the vibe of it. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a not enemies lover because I know a lot of people get mad when people use that term and it's not like enemies like actual enemies like want to kill each other type vibe. It's not like that because this isn't really like a fantasy or anything but it's more just like the one person doesn't like the other person and I'm guessing they're gonna end up falling in love. I mean I don't know yet but I can assume. I am gonna read for a little I think and then make some breakfast, go to work, and then the fun will begin. Ugh, I'm so excited for fall. Like, I think this is the most excited I've ever been. And I feel like I used to always say like summer is my favorite season, but I think it might be fall now. I really do. I mean, I had a good summer, but like the fall weather is just like so nice. And I just like the vibe of fall. Like, 
uh, like it literally when I like go out outside like I just want to like give myself a hug like I just gives like cozy like right. it's not even fall yet but it feels like fall like today is literally the high is 70 degrees and it's like 52 degrees right now it's actually kind of cold right now but it's gonna be like 70 which is like perfect <laughs> just got back from Trader Joe's and Brandy and as you guys saw I kind of filmed a little clip of some of the pumpkin-y fall stuff we got at Trader Joe's well that was all the pumpkin-y fall stuff we got and then I got some other stuff but nothing like fall or nothing new I was like all the new stuff I got to try actually no I did get other stuff I think I'll film a haul tomorrow because right now my mom's down there I'll show you guys a haul of what I got at Brandy so I got something for my friend so I got her this for her birthday it's a sweater it's like tan and blue striped i thought it was really cute it just like seems like her vibe i got her that and then my mom bought this for herself this really cute tote bag it's really cute floral print so my mom got that and then my mom wanted this because she's been to switzerland but then she was like i don't know if i'd really wear it but i'll buy it for you and i was like okay like i really liked it i just didn't want to spend money but she bought it for me so Thank you to her because she might wear it also this so cute yeah that's everything i got oh and then these are for my friend because they didn't have the dark chocolate covered peanut butter cups things which i was gonna get her but they didn't have them so i got her this instead because i've heard they're good i brought up one of the pumpkin things i bought because i want to try them i might try one right now but I don't know. It's really hot in my house. I need to go outside because it's nice and cool. My brother's sleeping. First thing I got is San Francisco style sourdough bread. This has become like one of my absolute favorite sourdough breads. It's my favorite besides this other one that I buy, but the other one I buy is kind of like a random brand that you can't really find, I feel like, anywhere. But this one, if you have a Trader Joe's in you, highly recommend. Here are some of the new things I got to try that aren't fall related. First one is the celebration cake gelato. I'm so excited about this. If you know me, birthday cake flavored anything, sign me up. And I tried gelato the first time this year and it was so good. I don't know how good like Trader Joe's brand would be, but I've heard good things. Like I've looked it up and people say it's good, so I'm excited. This, I'm so excited. I got the kimbap. Kimbap, I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry, it's like kimbap, I think. It's basically this Korean tofu and vegetable seaweed rice roll. It's like a sushi roll with like tofu. I've never had tofu, but I've heard such good things about this. I'm so excited. These are the steamed chicken soup dumplings. I've never tried these either. My sister tried them. I forget if she tried these or the pork ones, but she didn't like them, but I don't think she like made them. But like she didn't like put anything with them. Like I feel like if I put some chili onion, crunch oil or whatever, or like, I don't know. I just want to try them because we have different tastes anyway. Got some classic cauliflower gnocchi. This is my favorite sausage from Trader Joe's, their sweet Italian chicken sausage. And then I also got this one in the apple, like sweet apple chicken sausage flavor, which I tried last night in my raviolis. Um, and I liked it. It was definitely good, but I liked this one better, at least with that meal. Maybe the apple ones would be better with something else, but with that meal, I would prefer these, but they're both really good. I can't show the apple ones right now because they're all wrapped up in my freezer but i did film that clip of all the fall items i got and i put those in it so you could kind of see then i got my beloved vegan spinach and cashew ravioli i haven't had these in so long because i haven't had them 
but I saw them today, or yesterday I saw them and I was like, I need to get those. I also got the roasted cauliflower and cheese ones, but I already opened the box and they're just like in a Ziploc bag. Those are the ones I had last night. I got honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. I'm scared, but I'm excited. I literally, I've never had like anything pumpkin flavored, so I don't really know why I thought like to buy all this pumpkin stuff, but you gotta try it at some point, you know? And I feel like I'll like it. And I was looking, I was doing my research, looking up best fall items, and this was one of them. I'll show you guys what my mom got. I got this sour cream spinach dip. I don't know if she tried this one yet, but she did try this one. She got artichoke and jalapeno dip, and she loved it. I tried a little bit, it was really good. I got more pesto, of course. I also got this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I've heard it's really good, and it's really simple to make. So I'm probably gonna make this very soon in a video, upcoming video, so stay tuned. And then this, I'm like not a pasta sauce person usually, like I don't like like red sauce, but this one is a autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce with pumpkin and butternut squash. And I, every time I look up best traders whole items, people rave about this, so I'm excited. My mom just got out of the shower, so now I feel like I have to be even quieter. We got some milk chocolate peanut butter cups mainly for my brother because when i bought the dark chocolate ones he like ate all of them and they didn't have the dark chocolate so we just got milk chocolate my mom got these leaf shaped tortilla chips just for the fall vibes for her dips she bought that's gonna be it for this week in my life it's currently monday like i have school today so i'm gonna go get ready for school but i hope you enjoyed this video this was a very fun video i'm like in such a fall vibe peace out girl scouts